What's up guys? Welcome to another video at Movement Mechanics and welcome to the third video of the anatomical journey at Movement Mechanics. So today we are going to talk about two of the most famous muscle groups and these muscle groups are loved to train by everyone. The chest muscle and the latissimus dorsi or the so-called latch muscle. Again, as for the traditions, we are going to understand their anatomy, origin, insertion, muscle actions. And finally, I'm going to give you that one exercise for your chest and for your latch. So let's dive deep inside this topic and understand some movement mechanics. So we are going to start off this video with the anterior muscle of the body and one of the most famously trained and the muscle which gives you most of your confidence the chest muscle now the chest is basically divided in two muscle groups one is the pectoralis major and one is the pectoralis minor so mainly when you do lots of chest workout you're targeting your pec major but also there is some amount of contribution from your pectoralis minor that is beneath your pectoralis major so where does this pectoralis major starts and ends so the pectoralis major has got three origins one is the anterior surface of the calvicle the anterior surface of the sternum and the cartilage of the ribs one to seven and it inserts at the greater turbicul of the humerus when it comes to the muscle action of the pec major it does three muscle action one is the shoulder flexion these this muscle action is specifically done by the calvicular fibers then comes horizontal adduction and internal rotation so these are concentric muscle actions again the eccentric muscle actions would be opposite shoulder extension uh, horizontal abduction and external rotation now moving forward from the pec major we are going to talk about the pec minor now the pectoralis minor is a very small muscle beneath your pectoralis major it originates from the ribs three to five and inserts at the coracoid process of the scapula now what does this pectoralis minor do is it protracts your scapula that means when you are going to come forward in this type of position this is called as protraction and this is done by your pectoralis minor Moving forward from the pectoralis major and minor, the anterior muscles, we are going to talk about the widest muscle of the back, which is your latissimus dorsi or the so-called lats. So the lats is a very wide muscle and hence it originates from multiple places. So firstly, it originates from the spinous process of T7 to T11. Then it originates from the thoracolumbar fascia. Then it originates from the iliac crest of the pelvis and also it originates from the ribs 9 to 12 but the insertion of this muscle or the ending of this muscle is only two one is the inferior aspect of the scapula and second is the interturbical groove of the humerus as of for the muscle actions of the latissimus dorsi it does shoulder extension adduction and internal rotation now these are concentric muscle actions the eccentric muscle actions would be shoulder flexion abduction and external rotation as for the traditions of this series moving from that anatomical lecture to the practicality what is the exercise you should be doing for your chest and your lats so when it comes to your pectoralis major and minor i love doing the bench press now the bench press is a fundamental compound push exercise which is going to specifically target that pectoralis major and minor and you should have the bench press in your training programs now the bench press is a push exercise and if you want to target your latch you need to do a pull exercise now the best pull exercise for targeting your latch is simply doing a barbell row but in a supinated grip so if you are going to do a barbell row in a supinated grip you are going to target those lats and make them stronger all right guys i hope you have understood the anatomy of both the pectoral major minor and your latissimus dorsi and also you have loved the exercises which i have suggested for your chest and your lats so if you have loved this video make sure you hit the like the share the subscribe as well as the notification bell icon so that you never miss a video whenever i'm uploading a new one also if you have got any doubts or any comments regarding this video or any other video suggestions which you want me to cover in the future make sure you drop that in the comment section till then see you in the next one